the new DCU is is uh, quickly coming upon us. 2025 is now not all that long away. And one of the big casting decisions that's kind of been up in the air that we've been talking about lately is who's going to be Supergirl. Now, a report came out about a week or two ago about the three finalists that have come up to the role. And one of those finalists is now our Supergirl. As it has been reported and James Gunn himself has now confirmed. Deadline said the, the headline. Supergirl, New Woman of Steel is House of the Dragons, Millie Alcock, to which James Gunn immediately wrote, this one is true. Welcome to the DCU, Millie Alcock, uh, coming us from Deadline. This is how good of an actress this girl is. Although, let me preface this by saying, my sample size of her acting prowess is limited to House of the Dragon, right? <clears throat> I don't really, I'm not really familiar with her work outside of that. But she was so good in House of the Dragon, that when they ultimately hit the inevitable part of the story that they had to now bring in a new actress for the aged up character, and that girl was wonderful. The aged up one was great. But even though the new one was great, everybody's like, bring back Millie, man. Yep. She was just too good. She was great. She had the ability to play in House of the Dragon a vulnerability, a fragileness sometimes, a strength other times, and a ferocity at other times. There's that one scene <clears throat> when her uncle's getting on everybody's ass and she decides against her father, the king's wish, she rides her dragon out there. It's like, what's up? You want to go? Let's go. I mean, it was like, so she was able to show all of that in this wonderfully complex, fascinating character. And she brought it all to life. Now, I'm sure the other, if they were finalists, I'm sure the other actresses in question would have been great in this role too. I just said at the time, because I'm most familiar with Alcock's work, I, I know she'll probably kill this. So I'll tell you right now, Rob, I am thrilled that she got this. I would have been good with the others as well. Totally would have been good with it, but I am kind of really thrilled that she got this. What do you make of this? Uh, me too. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash camp. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Uh, and again, you have to understand, I, I want, you know, the people that watch this show and fans of, of DC and fans of comics to understand just how important it was that James Gunn was able to do these tests to spend, I mean, he spent months doing this. So the people, he's probably been doing chemistry tests with the actors together with the other actors. You know, Corn Sweet and probably her were, were doing tests together. He probably, and they put them all on film and they had to see because th that's how important this is. So this is not some willy-nilly casting choice. I think that we're going to get a Supergirl and she's going to crush it because she already crushed it for him. And not just him, but Peter Safran and probably David Zaslav too. And and James Gunn, you know, he had to pit, make his pick, but then he had to go to the studio. He had to go to Zaslav and say, this is who I want. And everybody had to be approved by the higher ups, even though he's the head of the studio at DC. And so that's another reason to get very excited about this entire process because whatever we're getting with this Superman movie has been carefully curated by the director 
and by the head of the studio at DC, both of them, because they're the same guy, and by Warner Brothers at large. So we're going to get something, I think, that has the kind of thought put into it that we don't normally get. So that alone should make us excited for this. By the way, she's going to be great. She is going to be great. And this comic that, series is a it's a badass yeah. comic series too. Well, t tell people a little bit about Well, I mean, about, the one they're going she's on she's almost before. like a slave on an alien planet, you know, that she has to break free. And if, in a way, her I am sure that her ferociousness in House of the Dragon is what put her on the list in the first place. But like you and like me, we don't know anything else. James Gunn brought her in and he probably was blown away by her. Because in that story, the sweet, minute Kara Zorel, that's not this super. No. If you're not familiar <laughs> with the story that James Gunn is basing this on, it's a little bit of a different take on Supergirl. Now, I'm seeing some people in live chat, and I get this, because I've, I've said this sort of thing about other characters before, saying, hey, she's kind of small. She's going to have to get jacked. I would I would suggest, no, she doesn't. Nope. Like, the, like, she's not Wonder Woman, right? Wonder Woman. A literal Amazonian, right? Like that, whoever they cast to be Wonder Woman next has got to get big, fit, jacked, all that kind of stuff. Supergirl's power does not come from her physical fiber muscles. Mm -hmm. She's Kryptonian. Yeah, she's alien. So, I mean, she's clearly in really good shape. I mean, that that's all, but that her power is not her, it's not like Reacher's power comes from the fact that Alan Richin is a massive human being. That's not where Supergirl's power comes from. It's not no, like, it's but not she'll like, get fit. I mean, oh, she'll want to look great in the role. Belly. No. Yeah, she's not going to walk in with a beer belly. Well, even in the Flash, uh, the Supergirl yeah. in that, it's not like she was ripped and we believed it. No, yeah. but she was great. Yeah. Oh, I loved her. Oh, the, oh what but, was her name again? Uh, ben, but, was no, it? It's, uh, oh, the not, Supergirl series? Or no, 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 the Supergirl from Flash. I'm not, I'm not. I forget. She was really good. She was great. But, I, you know, they're Sasha Kaye. Sasha Kaye, thank you. Oh, I um, but you know, and I would have been fine uh, if James Gunn wanted to use her, but this is a new universe. This is a new iteration of the character and something different than what her Supergirl was. And so, um, I think this is great. It's I, great. I'm great very game. excited to see what they do with this now. They just got to make sure they make a good movie around her. And, uh, cause that, guess what? You have the best casting in the world. If the movie's not good, it won't matter. And so again, no pressure, James, but, uh, <laughs> but, but there it is. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.